from 80s TV. It's such an honor for 80s TV to have an interview with Savage. Hi, Savage. Hi, ciao. And the first question I have for you, when did you start your career as an Italo disco artist? I started uh, to do music uh, at the end of the 70s, uh, playing with the uh, bands. But uh, the real start of uh, Italo disco music and career was uh, in uh, 80, at the end of 83 with Don't Cry Tonight and uh, it was my first single and uh, it was released uh, December 83. Hi Savage, how are you? My name is Chris, known as DJ Italo. Uh, it's great to have you here with us. Um, my question is, what was your first instrument? I played piano, so I started to learn piano when I was uh, young and uh, it is uh, piano, the, 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 the instrument where I, I, I tried and, and uh, then uh, wrote and recorded my songs. Hi Sebastian, my name is Arturo, as a DJ Art. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you for being here and uh, it's our, our pleasure to have uh, somebody and uh, from far away and uh, actually we was waiting for so long long time to have you here we're so happy my question is uh, we would like to know why did you choose uh, on stage the name Savage I at that time uh, um, there, there were like uh, a new fashion in Italy to uh, to write and sing and compose songs in English language and every artist chose an artist's name so I had to choose my, my artist's name. At the time there were a very popular comic in Italy about uh, an, an uh, inspector detective called Savage and uh, I uh, took his name but uh, with the French uh, pronunciation uh, so, uh, so Savage uh, it is written like in English, but uh, uh, Savage. So it, it was my, my, my artist name from that age. Savage, um, Robix, and that's your also producer name. What's, the, uh, what's behind all that and why I chose that name? Uh, Robix was a, a name from a fantasy name. It was, a, I'm Roberto. Robbie and Robix and uh, I chose to have a second name as producer because uh, since the beginning I wanted to uh, I don't know it was my idea that I could have two two career one uh, as a uh, singer Savage and one as a uh, producer and composer and uh, to, uh, so I chose to have a second uh, name Robix. Uh, have you um, worked with different band or different kind of music before? Yes, I did, uh, and um, I did uh, some songs in um, Italian language, <coughs> very romantic songs, and um, I was a part of uh, a few bands, Santa Rosa, Taxi, Vicini di Casa. Yes, and I wrote a song for uh, Stefano Sani, he was a very popular Italian artist at that time. And then why you decide to uh, steer to Italo disco music? It was uh, a fashion that started at the time and uh, the first time I heard uh, songs in Italo disco style I thought that it was my music, you know, it was something that uh, I had inside and I liked the idea to put uh, a, a melodic song over a dance uh, rhythm and uh, that was uh, easy and normal for me to, to do uh, songs in that style. Yes, I noticed uh, you did a lot of productions and uh, a lot of aliases that you use, like Joey Moon, Claudio Mingardi, uh, and then producing uh, Navarro Manda. Um, tell me how all that came about and, and why did you use aliases and not using Savage uh, as yourself? Yeah, at the beginning I, I wanted to do music, so I started uh, and uh, I did um, First Italo disco songs uh, were not uh, as a Savage, but was a uh, uh, Magic Carry On by, Tro by Rose, uh, Star, uh, Claudio Mingardi. Um, of course, I did uh, five, six songs, but at, in the mean, uh, as soon uh, I was popular as uh, Don't, Don't Cry Tonight came out, I was uh, in, uh, in one month I became uh, so popular that I did decided uh, 
to stop uh, as producer and continue as an artist. Mm. And so the second part of the career was uh, only uh, producing and uh, writing songs for Savage. Savage. Um, as back in the 80s, uh, I noticed a lot of other artists, their music are all fast tempo. And, uh, but you and a few other artists in Italy, uh, you guys actually went the other way towards more of the down tempo beat, melodic romantic uh, and what is the reason for that there is not a, a real reason uh, we follow our um, uh, sensibility you know it uh, i was uh, of course the fashion at the time was uh, doing uh, songs uh, at uh, 120 bpm uh, but uh, when i wrote uh, don't cry tonight uh, i didn't care about uh, the fashion i wanted to do i wrote a song and that, that song was good at uh, 105 so uh, that 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 why it was uh, something came out uh, uh, from inside. Mm. It was not a, a, a choose uh, about uh, to, to follow the market. We, we, we were the first to do so, uh, slow songs, so it was uh, I don't know from inside. Yeah. Savage um, back in the eighty stars, the song Star was really popular in, in the states. It was under the name Claudio Mengadi. Yes. Can you tell us more details about that song? I recorded that song uh, uh, together, Don't Cry Tonight, the same period. I wanted to be Savage and uh, doing Don't Cry Tonight, but I had another record ready, so I chose another name, you know. And Claudio Mengadi was a friend of mine, he was a DJ, uh, an Italian DJ. So I, I released the, the record as Claudio Mengardi. And, uh, and then uh, uh, Don't Cry Tonight was so popular and uh, I wanted to follow the career of, as Savage. So Claudio Mingardi uh, stayed uh, and uh, finished. Uh, I would like to ask you something about Don't Cry Tonight. That was a big hit. Uh, can you tell us uh, some of the details about that song? I wrote the song very quickly, it was done uh, in uh, one afternoon, really quickly. And uh, all the song came out uh, uh, as uh, the record is, so I didn't make any changes the days after. So everything starts out so easily. The one, two days after I listened again at the demo, I said, ah, this is uh, my music uh, and uh, I want uh, to sing this kind of, uh, of music. So I, I decided that it was uh, my, my career. Savas, can you tell us about the DWA Records label? It started uh, a little bit later than uh, Savage and uh, I wanted to have my own label and uh, I chose that name that means uh, Dance World Attack, DWA Dance World Attack. Yeah, in, uh, as soon as I started to release records in uh, that label, I was uh, lucky to have uh, hits and uh, in uh, three, four years, it was the number one label in Italy. I had uh, one year, I was uh, in front uh, uh, of uh, Sony Music and uh, all the other uh, labels uh, yeah, because I had uh, so many big hits like uh, Rhythm of the Night, uh, Corona, Think About the Way, ICMC, Please Don't Go by W, and uh, it was a fantastic period as producer. This question is not only by me, but from everyone, okay? They've been waiting for this, uh, for your answer, and uh, we would like to know if you're planning to work on a new album. Please, let us know, because we are excited to expect something from you. I think uh, this is the question that I receive every day. <laughs> from all Sorry. countries of it's the world. Yeah. You know? <laughs> no, no, it's not a surprise. I wrote a lot of songs because during all these years, I, every time I had an idea that was uh, uh, in, my, uh, in my world as a, as a singer, so the, the Savage singer uh, world, I, I, I wrote songs and I put down and I have uh, uh, cassettes, uh, tapes, uh, mp3, a <laughs> lot of uh, demos and uh, I, ne I never recorded a new album because uh, uh, 
the, the, the first period I was busy as producer, so I had I had no no time. I, I was so involved on the DWA records and uh, as producer that if if I do it, I want to do in the same style as the beginning. I want to do the same sound as tonight. I'm uh, the singer of the 80s, so if I do an album, I, I have to the album have to be the same like it was recorded in the 80s. Working alone, I can feel it. Life is no longer the same. Emptiness rules can conceal it. Still, I don't know who's to blame. So much. For the video, uh, music video for 2009, you chose a uh, uh, location in California, Salton Sea. Uh, what purpose and why? I decided to work with a, um, with a guy from Finland, a director from Finland, and uh, uh, I wanted to do a video, uh, a strange video in, in a place like, uh, uh, like Salton Lake is. So I asked him to find a, a, a place like that, and uh, he contacted a, fr a friend of him in, uh, in America, and that, that's why they, they, they told me, we go there, and uh, I came, uh, in the, the place is fantastic. And uh, we did the video there. Was the uh, little girl in the video is your daughter? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. She's so cute. Yeah, it was uh, seven years old at the time, yeah. yes. I'm curious, uh, you know, as uh, Disco Magic is one of the biggest distributor in Italy for Italo Disco uh, back in the 80s, how did you came about uh, getting picked up by them or did you approach them? Uh, at that time, uh, yes, as soon as I de decided to do uh, records, uh, Disco Magic was uh, one of the two or three labels there and um, I had a friend, a DJ, uh, who introduced me to Mr. Lombardoni, which, uh, who was uh, the, the owner of, the, of Disco Magic, and uh, yeah, it started in that way. Uh, at that time, Disco Magic was very uh, important. They, have, they had a good distribution, and so records uh, arrived everywhere in the world. And, uh, Savage, thank you for all your time, your effort. The interview that we have today is very valuable for us, and not just only for ADTV, for the fans all over the world want to know the story of Savage. Thank you so much for your effort. I want to thank you, and uh, yes, it's right. I came here because I wanted to meet all, all of my fans here. I know that uh, there are uh, many of them. Uh, I, have, uh, I think to have friends now, here and uh, I hope it will be a nice, uh, nice show and uh, uh, see you there. <laughs> Ciao. Yeah. Actually, I uh, just want to say thank you and uh, personally, I feel so lucky to be here and thanks to Jan, to Q and uh, for giving me this opportunity to be with you. And uh, like I say, uh, we love your music and please, Give us some more. <laughs> I know you have some somewhere around there, but thank you. Thank you. It's an honor and experience to be able to sit here and really have an interview with you. And thanks to Ian and TQ as well, and uh, everybody else that's been involved with this uh, to have me here. Thank you.